welcome. Thank you for joining us. Robert LaBelle with yet another guitar tutorial. We have been doing Tragically Hip and the Eagles and Jimi Hendrix. The last number we did was Before You Accuse Me. So the download that you're going to get for those who are nice enough to join us looks like this. And it's three pages of the intro and the solo all done finger style. Pretty much the way I did it. I just jammed a little more. So for those interested, the digital download is here and it's on our site and ready to go. Today we're going to continue with the deconstruction of Eric Clapton's Unplugged record. This can go in many directions, largely because Eric Clapton's, according to his biography, his biggest influences were people like Robert Johnson and Bill Brunzi, a number of other people, but those were his primary ones. We are going to deconstruct Malted Milk, which appeared on Eric Clapton's Unplugged record, and I think he might have even recorded it on Me and Mr. Johnson which was him and Doyle Brimhall on second guitar. So, Malted Milk is a, is a Robert Johnson number. It is essentially a 1-4-5 progression, very similar to Before You Accuse Me, and not dissimilar to Hey Hey, which we deconstructed. So let's tune up, shall we? The opening is a D sharp. I'm down a half step from an E, a G sharp. Fourth string is a C sharp. Third string, F sharp. Second string, A sharp. First string D sharp. We'll deconstruct the song quickly. It, it opens with a so two ways you can do that. You could go E7, put the D in the root, A, drop that down to a C, an E, a B flat, and an E. From there, descend to a B7. So you have four. B7. Go to the one chord, the E. A. A. Look familiar from last time? You could use that. B, very similar from last time, A. Turn around. The structure is, I keep drinking malted milk, trying to drive my blues away. To A, to milk, trying to drive my blues B. Welcome to my loving A. It's the flowers bloom in May. Turn around. Back to E. So what we're doing? Starting on the turnaround. B at the fourth fret. Really, it's a B7. So let me explain these chords. The root to the B7 chord is on the fifth string, which is second fret, fifth string, which is a B, and the B F sharp B and D sharp, putting the A on the top, that's going to be your 7, the E, so you have A over C sharp, E. Many ways to do the B, B, A, turn around. In this case is going to be this seven chord will actually be C sharp C B7 so those are the roots of the chords the C sharp the C and the B we kick those roots out and just go so once again walk down is actually I'm Andy Fairweather Lowe's part. He goes I chose to take it and put an E in the bass. You have because it's a G sharp and a B. You put the E in the bass, it outlines an E chord. So you have E flat. D E. So
sound familiar from two weeks ago? From before you accuse me? Same intervals. More on that later. Yes, we're going to take ideas from before you accuse me, a blues and E, and hey hey, and work them into malted milk. So, that's the gist of the song. Now one thing you could use for the B instead of going because we use that already. How many times can we use it? And we don't want to get might be a little too rock and roll for this song. It's nice and good for before you accuse me, but not good for this. So how about we use a B here? There's a B and A and a D sharp. Walk up to a C sharp, B flat, and an E. A nice walk up. And then a, a bend. Turn around. So you could have, I could drink it all to me. Here's the walk up. Here's Jay up into my loving. Well, my donut keeps on turning. Spins, spins around. Walk up. Again, solo. A. Well. Walk up. Walk. So, that's in essence what I'm doing. What I'm going to explain, this part and this is pretty much off the album. So what I did, I took part of an E major pentatonic scale and I put an E in the bass. I went... Then I took that... Put an A in the bass. Put them both together. The 
walk down. Went to this. Took the same, ran it up to 12th fret, which is over E. Then the That I've used that before and before you accuse me, the A back to this. To A. Couple it with that A. Could use this B. So that's before, or <laughs> before you use it, Malted Milk. Yes, blatant plagiarism going on from one song to the next. This in Malted Milk, and before you use me, it's just an E7. I use this E7 to replace this E. So in the song would be, Drive my blues away. The A. What I'm using there is that is a major blues scale that. So I have. So B, B flat, A, I could use that whole chromatic run from C, B, B flat, A, G, F sharp, E, C sharp, E. Or, or, I can run those same ideas here. So this over an E chord, this over an A, all with an A in the bass. Why? Because I'm over an A chord. Now you wouldn't want to fill it up like that. You want to try to come up with some ideas. This, again, is, to the best of my recollection, right off the album. So you have... And that used in before you accuse me. All these ideas are interchangeable is what I'm getting at. It's the whole point behind this. The objective is to jam. You can also, for this, you can drop this B down one octave instead of going, could go. This is actually an E in root position. E, G sharp, B, and E with a G sharp on top. I would use that in the song to go. Trying to drive my blues away. Keep drinking malt. E. And walk up if you like. This thing that is a G bent up slightly to a G sharp, a B on top, a C sharp pull off. Pretty much I took it from Ry Cooter. Walk down, and I'll put that, that tremolo thing in, or I could tremolo the whole thing. Might be a bit much, but it's fun. 
So we are nearly out of time here. I'm going to wrap this up and this digital download will be available next week, just like before you accuse me is now. So what you've got to recap all this, jam. It's the most important part of this. Just jam on it. You can mix up all the parts from other tunes. You can get countless songs. This thing I got from David Bromberg. I just took it. Put an E in the bass. So. Led Zeppelin. Malted Milk, various themes and adhesions, related directly to Before You Accuse Me, and if we had more time, I would relate it directly to Hey Hey, which you probably remember from a previous video that... Mm -hmm. So we'll talk more about that later, how to jam, blues, and E. We're going to be doing a lot of Eric Clapton unplugged and probably some not unplugged in addition to Robert Johnson and tying it all in together. Remember, put yourself into it. Don't be afraid to jam. That's what it's all about. Take ideas from wherever you possibly can because those guys all did. Anyway, folks, thank you for joining us. You be well, and we will see you again very soon. Take care, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye for now.